This first uh, video is going to be so shitty. If you're watching this, then that means I've made more of these and I'm releasing them because I don't want to have the same problem that I did last time where I made like two videos and then stopped making videos and then life got busy and then I stopped doing it. Uh, I told you before that I wanted to do more like kind of not showcasing, but I wanted to meet more people in the community and try and turn box one into a community like I always wanted it to be so I figure we just start with someone who I know since I'm super awkward on camera and we'd start with Reggie's BMW most of you probably already follow Reggie because uh, he's the reason why you follow me probably anyways what is this car this is my 2017 BMW M3 competition. But it's like, but pretty. It's excessively it's tuned. The closest thing I can make. Yeah, I guess I say this is the closest I can get this car to be a street legal GT4. I guess. If anyone knows what GT4s are, you can look it up. Yeah, I think they could probably get an idea from the splitter. So is this all like? Is this all OEM stuff? It's pretty much all OEM stuff that you can order from BMW. Everything has a part number on it. Uh, so you have full chassis mount splitter. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like I saw on your on your Instagram, this thing's like bolted to the bolted almost to the, the frame, right? Bolted to the subframe, and then uh, it has all these support cables that hold the splitter up so it doesn't get pulled down. And then is the hood stock? I don't know anything the about BMWs. Hood, the hood is a GTS hood. So it's not... It's not the stock, like... It's not the hood that the car came with. No, it's the ones that come with on the, on the M4 GTSs. Okay. Yeah. And then, I think... Well, the wing's pretty obvious. Like, that's... Yeah, that's to me, whenever I see you driving, that's the first thing that stands out is the white end plates. Yeah. Because the M3 didn't come with this big wing. No. Uh, this wing is off the M4 GT4 car as well. Uh, I obviously paint matched the foil. Yeah. Kind of my thing. Yeah. Younger me would be crying that I'm painting over carbon, but. <laughs> and then you did the top too? Yeah, I did the top of the foil, but I left the bottom. Oh, I see. Gotcha. And then it has a, the OEM cheeky Ford gurney flap. You can kind of see the OEM part of her, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. So does this, this is just a little add-on piece? Yeah, add-on piece. Like a little sticker? Go fast parts. And my buddy Mark, like, because this, this wing is off an M4 and the M4 trunk's a little bit different, so yeah. he could custom make some brackets so it's chassis mounted, quote unquote, to the actual. Because it does come from the factory with these, like, yeah. brackets, right? The black but, pieces are factory. Yeah. The center piece is a built aluminum piece that our friend Mark made me. So just an, adap an adapter, adapter to make the width match. And then it's a factory exhaust? Or what do you have, what is this, a Remark? Uh, Remark, so it's a Gretti's sister brand that's out of LA. Um, they're a pretty new company, but yeah, they sent me this exhaust. Probably one of my favorites so far. And it's paired with a active all work equal length. Okay. We'll try and get a clip. Maybe when we leave, we'll I'll get a clip of you driving. Oh wait, I'm sure people want to hear that. You got like all these OEM 
motorsport, motorsport stuff. Yeah. Like, how did you get them? Because usually you can't just go into a dealership and just say, oh, I need I need the yeah. race car parts. Yeah, obviously they need like part numbers. So I spent like probably like weeks Googling, asking friends that have GT4s if they can like get the part numbers. Uh, eventually I was able to find all the part numbers on some random website that someone put the entire catalog up. And I gave all the part numbers to my buddy at the local BMW dealer and he was able to order everything from Germany, like special order. So in this case, you actually did go into the dealership. Yeah, and I did go into the part. dealership and oh. order everything. That worked out because I remember like you had a, you had an RS3 before. Well, not before, but you had an RS3 a little while during ago this, during yeah. this build. Yeah. And I you and I were talking, cause I'm a big Volkswagen guy and I know how hard it is to, to get the motorsport parts from a, anywhere. Mm -hmm. You tried getting some motorsport parts for the RS3 and you couldn't. could not. You had to like prove that you're on like a race team. That's one more reason to like BMW, I guess, is because they don't care. They don't care. They're still making money. And this thing's... Uh, what about the cage though? Is the cage OEM? No, the cage is a company in California called Studio RSR. So this, this is designed for the car though, right? Yeah, this is a full bolt-in cage that you could get welded in. Just go into the factory like floor points and the strut tower points. Yeah. So you could weld it in, but in case you never know with me, everything's be reversible. Because <laughs> you got it, you change your mind. Yeah. Too too fat. Yeah. And I think uh, to me, because I like you, I my dream is to have like a race car that I can drive on the street. Yeah. That. But I think the cool my for, for me the coolest thing in this car. And maybe Reggie too. Maybe he agrees. Is the steering wheel? Uh, yeah. And you, you sent me a link of the steering wheel for, for a GTI, which I used to have. They just released it. Yeah, I wish I had the GTI now. But this thing is sick. Who who makes this? Uh, it's a brand called KMP Drivetrain out in Europe. That's rad. So, oh my god. So these, that's the, a better way to yeah, look so at it. So these are my these are my. Own yeah, titanium those are your, bolts, but we'll talk about that on another video. Yeah. But your brand, you you make your own parts. Okay. Some parts, not all, but like fun parts. Fun parts are more universal for everyone. Anyone yeah. can buy them. But let's like this steering wheel has a bunch of buttons, not just like a horn button. Mm -hmm. So the, you've got a DCT transmission, mm -hmm. and so this has got the paddles. Yeah. And what are the? You got like four buttons? Four buttons. Uh, honestly, I memorize what they are. Yeah. Because this isn't the original wheel that came with the kit. Okay. Because the, the one they came with had like a yellow center line on it. It kind of didn't really match my aesthetic. Yeah. So I put my own Momo wheel on. But pretty much, it's like the M, M Sport 1 and 2 buttons, like your presets. Yeah, yeah. And then the horn mm -hmm. and traction control. So, yeah, the original you wheel. You took the guts from the KMP, all the stuff that they've engineered, and transferred, and it, to transferred it to a different steering wheel yeah. just for personal preference? Yeah. Oh, interesting. And what's surprising, anyone, I think most people that are watching this are probably watching it because they know Reggie or they follow you, but this is almost blasphemous for Reggie. You still have the factory seats in here. I know. It's so embarrassing. What's up with that? It's so embarrassing. I, still, I couldn't decide what seats to get for this car. Um, I'm getting out old too, so it hasn't been a priority anymore. Well, when we were... Uh, we. We were just driving out here to this this area and we were talking about these seats because I sat in this, I haven't sat in this car much. I've been in it like twice. Those seats are super, anyone who has a BMW, you know, but those seats are super comfortable. For what they are, yeah. For being sport, your sport buckets yeah. or factory buckets in a way. Especially for a car that you drive every day. Yeah. Which, by the way, Reggie daily drives this in downtown Vancouver. <laughs> and if you're from Vancouver, which I think most of the people watching are familiar with he hasn't gotten a vi in this thing yet he has not gotten a box one yet not on this not even a box two or a box three no i got box three for, oh well, you got for, box three for a license plate uh box three is easy box for anyone not from Van vancouver box three is just a fix it ticket so you that's just, like, i just have to take, put the license plate on the front of the car yeah. and send a picture to the office email box one which probably most of you know a uh, box one is the bad one. The box one is when they take your plates, they count, they void your registration, and they tow the car off the street. And they say, you can't drive your car until you get this thing fully inspected by a dealership or a licensed facility. 
and it's proven that it's roadworthy. The cops here can basically just say, this looks not street legal, you need to get it fixed. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> oh man. This, this is my first time filming this and this is just an absolute. So all that to say, Reggie hasn't gotten one yet in this car, which is amazing because look at it. Might be really dirty though. That BMW double latch. The double latch. Okay. I see, I, I recognize some of these bits here. This is all like Eventuri stuff. Eventuri charge piping and their intake kits. Is this does this have the factory turbo turbos? Yeah, turbo turbos turbos. Yeah, it's still the factory twin turbos. But nice little intake intake there. These are the oh. Eventuri charge pipe thing too. That's interesting. These are dry carbon. Yeah. And then. It goes to like a wet carbon, I guess. I think because originally they thought like if they clear coat the carbon on the charge pipe, the heat might wreck it. But yeah, it, and then I've done it though. And then a lot of black line stuff like black line. Who's black? What's black, black line? Black line is a brand of, I guess, black line is not really the brand name, but Golden Wrench yeah. is from Seattle. Oh, cool. Uh, the guy's name is Mario. He pretty much makes these billet oil cap and like coolant cap covers they yeah they don't actually replace the oem they're just dress up they're just caps? dress up caps oh and you got like a couple different ones yeah it's like the one and even the washer cap is there oh there there's the golden wrench logo yeah just a little dress up so quickly because i i feel like this video is going to be too long and then people are going to stop watching it mm -hmm. so let's i just want to i think the other crazy thing is anyone who followed you you on instagram while you're doing this the suspension uh, to yeah. get these, these to get these wheels to fit because i mean they look aggressive yeah. but you don't realize how aggressive they actually are unless you're in person looking at this thing because this thing's crazy yeah. and you went through a lot of hassle to get these to yeah, fit yeah because these wheels are not bolt on to the factory f80s like they're off the gt4 car yeah which the suspension is completely different from the, the street car where the whole track of the car is almost, I think they said it's like 40 mils skinnier oh. just because it's 11 wide in the front. Yeah. Just so you can turn. So I had to get like custom coilovers built and then custom camera plates made. <laughs> All the SPL arms to shorten the track of the car just to fit these in the front. So it's running like all SPL front. Front control arms. And then uh, rods. who made the coilovers for you? Uh, sorry, not the, co the coilovers are not custom. The coilovers are KW Club Sports. Okay, nice. But then Broadway. Suspension. Yeah, they did all this, this stuff up top. Top hats. You can you can kind of hit it right now, but you can see how much extra camber. Oh, yeah, holy moly! So they like these are like custom, custom made. Custom, custom. Jeez, like, tip, typically, any camber plate, the top of the strut is probably only like right over here. Yeah. So they had to make this custom fit underneath this plate. And so now, I mean, you can you can see in the camera kind of like i'm not really exaggerating anything that's a lot of camber I think it's like, what are you running right now we just did an alignment so i think it was negative 4.6 in the front what Neg negative 4.6 degrees jeez louise yes on the street <laughs> yeah and these are these these are like uh wh who makes these sai these S are bmw like they're they're made by they're made by SAA, but they they are actually BMW, BMW wheels. wheels. Like that stamping is legit. That's pretty cool. And you've upgraded the brakes. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, the was all round. Dude. Yeah. What was wrong with the M brakes? They were worn out. They were oh, like, so this guy you yeah, needed new they're, brakes. They're like, oh, thirty-eight hundred dollars replaced the pads and rotors. So like, well, let's just pay a little bit more. Well, not a little bit more. A couple grand more. Yeah and it replaced the whole brake assembly. A hovercraft is about to launch. Oh, yeah. we're, at the... we're, at, we're at the end of the street um, in Richmond by the Coast Guard shop. Coast Guard shop? Coast Guard shop. They're just launching a hovercraft. 
So that's pretty crazy, Reggie. You have legit BMW Motorsport, like everything to make it's this very fit. Unnecessary. I just wanted to do it. Though. Of course, but that's every car guy gets that. We all get that. Yeah. But it is impressive that you've gone to this length to like make the motorsport parts fit when they really right. weren't actually designed to fit on this car. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's kind of weird that they wouldn't make that fit, but I guess that makes sense because you run a wider track. So what size tires are you running? Right now they're only 285s on the front, but could run a 315. Only 285s. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack up the gear. Uh, if you're, Like I said, if you're watching this, then that means there's a couple more filmed and they'll be released. And if you don't like this video, I mean, tell me you don't like it, but be, be nice about it. You know what I mean? And don't say anything like about my appearance or me as a person, because I can't change that. I can't change myself. I can only change the way I film and edit videos from here on out. Um, all right, later excavator.